MAPS, it's a Syrian-led organization, started 2013, and uh, we put when uh, we started this initiative, uh, our vision how we can achieve values for our community. So, uh, investing in humanitarian activities, it's so important for us in education, in medical sector, in relief, and uh, achieving from this uh, uh, activities some values and dignity is the most important values we try to achieve for our community for this reason we put our vision on family towards dignity as a, a, a rule for all our works in our activities related to the COVID-19 in uh, last month we started big project in relief and we were targeting uh, about 4,000 families by giving them uh, food parcels and to be honest uh, related to our vision as MAPS relief and uh, distribute uh, relief items it's not our priority at all but related to the collapsing and uh, economic difficulties and in the same time COVID-19 and the lockdown and uh, the majority of the Syrian refugees work by daily uh, they, 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 they are working by daily wages and this is uh, so difficult for them for this reason we started our work in relief by distribute and targeting many camps and also we put uh, very specific criteria to target some families some vulnerable orphans widows and uh, disabled population and also in another hand, after our work in uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, food parcel to support uh, some vulnerable uh, people, we continue our work in uh, our medical center in uh, Ghiras al Khair, and this is so important. Uh, and it was amazing work from our staff when uh, they facing this uh, pandemic and still now and need uh, more careful about dealing this uh, crisis and uh, pandemic and how they can protect themselves and at the same time deliver the uh, medical services for uh, our uh, community. Related to the exclusion in Beirut happened, we were working also in our community approach and still till now we are working in that. What uh, was done, uh, we created a team from the Syrian uh, nurses and doctors and they did a great job in uh, doing dressing for some uh, wounded uh, people and uh, injured in, in, in Beirut. And we tried to send some messages from that, that uh, as a MAPS, as a Syrian-led organization, we try to, uh, to respond to our commitment to our host community, because uh, here in Lebanon, we are as a refugees, but need to send our messages to the host community that when we, uh, you facing uh, some difficulties, we are, uh, uh, we are ready to support, to contribute by our effort and our capacity building. For this reason, we, um, we, we, we made this project until now, uh, this moment, we, uh, we are trying uh, by getting some support from our partner to deliver uh, medication also for vulnerable Lebanese and also for the Syrian vulnerables or Syrian refugees affected from this uh, explosion. We started our project in uh, education because education for our community is so important. Uh, when we started our project, uh, the disaster uh, was that more than uh, a quarter of a million of the Syrian refugees, the children, out of school. Uh, so our project in uh, Hope Schools or Hope Centers, it's so important for us because in this project enrolled uh, more than 3,000 students and maybe in many projects their uh, families in our centers to get uh, education in the best way. MAPS works in many different levels of education. Uh, such as the primary education, we also work in the higher education. Uh, we have scholarships for the Syrian refugee students in Lebanon. We work in this domain because the Syrian refugee students suffer from many circumstances and uh, problems to uh, have uh, their degree and bachelor 
uh, or to register in the Lebanese universities. Um, also, MAPS work in the vocational training uh, and education because the students uh, in this domain need some additional skills to go to the job market and uh, have uh, their income. Uh, the last thing that we work in education is the capacity uh, building for our staff and especially for our teachers. Uh, the teachers are, uh, are in the front line with the students and delivering their skills and uh, supporting them is uh, supporting our students in the second way. After many years of our uh, project in education and still the disaster was big for the, uh, the level for the students between 15 and 18 and more than 18 that uh, some statistics uh, mentioned more than um, 97 of the Syrian refugee students out of the uh, universities and out of the higher education. Uh, so for this reason we, uh, we feel that this is so important as MAPS to cover this uh, uh, important uh, gap and do this uh, initiative in higher education. For that we started our partnership with uh, SNHU and since uh, two years and I think now uh, we have tens of students and the uh, quality of education we believe they uh, get it it's, uh, it's high and the progress for uh, uh, this project uh, for BAPS and for uh, our students I think will be so, uh, so great and so uh, optimistic for them. Talking about uh, the progress of our students during the time of the pandemic, I'm proud to say that the monthly progress rate of the students uh, increased and now we have nine graduate students who graduated during the time of the pandemic. I can say that all of our students uh, have gained so many skills and academic information and academic knowledge during this time. They have been attending so many online courses, workshops about different types of uh, life skills, English courses, ICT courses, and I feel that this period was really useful and productive for them. The goal of the higher education platform of MAPS related to JAM project is to have about 75 students by the end of 2020 enrolled in SNHU scholarship and also we are planning to start a new preparatory phase by the 1st of 2021 for about 50 students. MAPS Center during this period is completely locked down so there are no activities on site and all of our activities and follow-up is happening remotely. We can say that our students only visit the center when they have to receive a financial allowance or an internet bundle uh, as we divide them in batches to avoid the crowding and maintain social distancing. And absolutely, each student uh, must commit to wear a face mask in addition to sterilize uh, the hands regularly. After COVID, the nature of funding, uh, uh, it's a change. And uh, all the organization, I think, uh, uh, feel, uh, feel that and uh, because uh, now the efforts coming to uh, to be more in uh, in relief and also maybe support education online and also related to some medical efforts. What we try to do, how we can uh, maybe do another approach of cross-cutting theme uh, for all these sectors, how we can make our projects in education or in vocational training in the same time, how we can do it to support uh, uh, some families and vulnerable families as a relief items. What we try to do, to, uh, and this is so important for some donors, how they can support uh, the activities in a new maybe approach not want to support this project specifically in this sector where I think all together we have now to think in uh, multi-sectorial approach projects for this reason uh, as maps we try to think out the box or maybe 
create our own box in uh, in our uh, thought to to find the best way to to work in this uh, so difficult situation the lockdown period wasn't a frustrating period for maps rather our efforts multiplied and our services has become more intensive and more accessible for all people at home we worked on selecting the most required courses in the labor market and restructuring them to be possibly given online. And we are trying our best to support our students uh, from home by offering them an internet bundle in addition to uh, delivering uh, online sessions about how to use the uh, platforms and the technical problems they might face and we support them by offering a technical support from the technical department at MAPS to solve each problem they might face. And the last thing and the most important thing, the psychosocial support. Our students needed psychosocial support because they were quarantined at their houses, uh, they didn't come to the, they didn't come to the office uh, to work from, uh, from here and uh, they were facing some certain circumstances during their life. Related to the challenge maybe our students will, will face in, uh, in the next winter, uh, till now the decision to, uh, related to the uh, open uh, organizations and institutes is still not uh, so clear and uh, the type or the, 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 the module of uh, uh, education is still under uh, experimental uh, uh, period. So I think it's uh, difficult for them and also difficult for many organiza organizations uh, deliver education to, uh, to make maybe a unique type of uh, deliver education under this uh, uh, maybe crisis or this situation. For this reason we try to put many scenarios how we can, uh, uh, we should be as always active in our project but in the same time how we can do this project in the best way related to some uh, uh, legal issue uh, or some uh, uh, constitutional or some decision from the government and also related to our vision and in the same time how we can protect uh, ourselves and our students. Talking about the future of online education and remote work, uh, we found this uh, period is really useful for MAPS staff. Uh, MAPS staff has gained so many skills from this experience and it was a capacity building for them. And at the same time, it saves so many uh, from the common expenses in the event of face-to-face -face implementation. Also, this experience of online education encourages us to submit proposals for online education projects. And I think also it helps us to uh, recruit and enroll uh, people who are not from the same geographic area, but they have the enough qualification to join us and finally we can say that um, the society has become more uh, accustomed and familiar with online education and the online education has become more accepted in the culture of our community. MAPS experience in education has many achievements. This experience has got uh, award from Arab League as one of the best initiatives in the Arab world. Also, this experience has been nominated in Kuwait to be one of the best humanitarian work in Arab world. This initiative also has got award from F4 Design Guide in Germany.